Look at the rod just cork. If there's a fish that swims, I need to catch it. Fresh water, salt water, from a boat, from a kayak, or from four inches of ice. I thrive off the new experiences fishing gives me. I'm an ex-fishing guide turned videographer calling Lake of the Woods, Ontario my home. I'm Jay Siemens, and this is the Canadian Angle. There's a fish that fills our northern waters, but rarely gets the respect they deserve. Often left on the ice for birds to eat. On this trip, we're fishing on Lake of the Woods, Ontario, in my backyard in search of a fish called by many different names. Ling, eel pout, lawyer, and most commonly called the burbot. These wild looking creatures, while not as commonly targeted in open water, have grown a cult following over the last few years for ice anglers. On this outing, I've enlisted the help of my buddy, Sean McGahee, a lover of the ling, to take me out on the ice to hunt down these underrated fish. Um, so just drill a line and so we'll go from 25 to- Let's just to... do like, let's do two horseshoes. Yeah. We'll just kind of fish around. So this right on the dot, this is like where the best it's been. Yeah. Burbot time. This is when they spawn or maybe a little bit after. Yeah, we're going to be spawn, post spawn. But uh, hopefully a couple fat dirty burbs. Yep. Okay, I'll pop some holes. You tell me where to drill and I will drill. You got some Cisco's, a burbot's favorite meal. Okay, so this bottom. is like a Cisco, a lake herring, a really prominent bait fish we have up here in Northwest Ontario. Most lakes have them. They smell, they're scaly. They don't have anything spiky on them. Pike love them, Lake Trail love them. Everybody loves them. Burbot love them. No, no fish is gonna turn down a chunk of Cisco on the bottom. So we're laying this down for burbot, but we might catch anything really. So these bigger ones, we're gonna chunk them up for bait on our jigging rods. And then we have some smaller more bite-sized ones that are going to be laid on the bottom. That is great right there. That we could we could very well catch a giant walleye, a big pike, but a burbot. A burbot is the goal. Normally burbot's the bycatch. Sean right here has a special place in his heart. And I have a lot of friends that, you know, live in the States, live in the Midwest, and they love burbot. I don't feel like that love is translated into Canada the same way, but yeah. it has translated to you. No, so it's everybody catches them accidentally yeah. walleye fishing. And I mean, that's how I caught all my first burbot. And I mean, the thing was, is everybody hooks a big burbot and they think it's a huge walleye and they're losing their mind and then it comes up the hole. And, oh no, it's a it burbot. Yeah. But meanwhile, they just had a fantastic fight. Yeah. They're crazy aggressive, but I was lucky enough. I got exposed to like strictly burbot fishing through some friends through the US. Yeah. I mean, this time of the year, when the spawn is on, I mean, you can, once you get on a school, I mean, you can catch fish from the five to 15 pound range as yeah. fast as you can drop down to bottom. I don't know anybody that's not gonna enjoy that. <laughs> yeah, totally. So. And it's, it's just, it's a shame because even today with all the education on the internet, people still will leave them on the ice when they catch them. I mean, they're not the prettiest looking fish in when people think about them, but if you actually stop and look at them. The leopard the, print. The leopard print on them, the design, the huge lateral line, they're just a solid muscle. They're a big predator fish. I mean, they're around the spawn right now, but normally in the year, like they have no problem open water targeting like big pelagic bait fish. Like yeah. they're eating these things up in the water column. Yeah, you'll it's see it when you're lake trout fishing. It's surprising. You'd be convinced it's a lake or it's coming up, but yeah. Anyways, I'm excited. We got, we're doing today, we're fishing tomorrow yet. Tomorrow we're going on a, on a big tour down the lake and uh, we're with the, the Burbot King. So I got treble hook, 20 pound fluoro, split shot. So it sits on the bottom and sinks down a little quicker. And then as far as rods, we're going anywhere from like a 38, 38 medium to a 50 medium. Yeah, we're basically on a big extended point here. Points hold everything. They hold lake trout, they hold pike, they hold walleye, they, I mean, Burbot. So we might catch some other stuff yet, but right now we're kind of drilling it out. and. This is just the start. This is awesome. I caught a bourbon jay. That did not take long. Well, we didn't even get our set lines out. Mr. Magai has a burb. Oh, oh. He backed out of the hole. Oh no. Oh, there's something. <laughs> I think the spawn's still happening. I saw spawn the one is on. Can confirm. Not a giant one, but that's a bird. What other fish does that and curls on itself? It's pretty cool. So it's about average size here. 
smaller one? Average? A little smaller? Yeah. This is probably the size we're going to eat tomorrow, but this guy is lucky and he's going back today. Do you want to touch him, kiss him, anything? Maybe like <laughs> the next one? Okay, next one. Sweet, so what are you using? Meat. A little meat, <laughs> a couple rattle. of rattles. I'm sure that's loud pounding in the mud. Yeah, it's all about making a big disturbance. Um, they have that huge lateral line. They can feel everything going on and a nice big chunk of meat for some smell. And they're actually pretty aggressive. So I marked that fish, it came up, chased me like a foot off bottom and ate it, so. So, so often when you're bourbon fishing, you'll catch them as the sun dips into the dark. But now at this time of year, you can kind of catch them all day, yeah, which is. It's directly related to the spawn. So for us up here, I'll start getting into it late February. Um, once the spawn takes off like this, then they'll get super active and you can catch them in the daytime and it gets even more fun. I'm excited, that was good. Oh, that's cool. We're gonna get some good oh, footage. yes. Oh, this looks way better now. Oh, one just hit the camera. Oh! Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. There's so many. I see you trying to work some magic. Did you see him? It might be like some of the coolest perfect footage Come on. ever been recorded. Three Come pack, on. one bumped the camera, three of them came in and just like mobbed it. Look at them. He's oh, straight man. to eat it. There's two of them now. Oh man, dude. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> That is some of the coolest bourbon footage but I've seen. Still, the other ones are there. Yeah, I need to drop down another rod. Oh, that was amazing. They came through and one like bumped the camera and it spun around. Oh. <laughs> Ice fishing with underwater cameras is just the deal. Wow. Catching the fish is pretty neat, but just watching that all happen underwater. <laughs> pretty one. Looked even better on the camera. Oh, so cool. Nice. So this one is going to be our meal. So this is gonna be a perfect eating size. And yeah, this is gonna be one we're gonna eat and we're gonna do some cooking with this one. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. That was amazing. Oh, look at this. Oh, Sean, come look at this. This is madness. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, oh he's man. pretty underwater. Uh oh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh man. No, you can't catch that one, Jay, big one. Oh, this is so cool. That is, oh, look at that thing swimming. They look like they shouldn't be in fresh water. Oh. oh, look at this, look. Oh, he's coming around the boulder. Oh. This. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was awesome. That was so sweet. Bloop. <laughs> yeah, if you want to eat burbot, that's like the perfect size. Yep, little male. Take that meat back. Yep, save the meat. There you go. That would be a male, judging <laughs> by the white coloration. Can confirm. Woo! There he goes. Sweet. Oh, man. Yeah, this is gonna be no fun at all. No, I hate this. Oh, there one. Oh, I hit him in the face. <laughs> oh, no, wrong-handed reel. <laughs> Do you get one? Yeah. Ooh, a white one. <laughs> Crazy how they come up backwards. Yeah, they really struggle with the hole. Well, I don't think the spawn's quite over. They're biting. Sean's got the touch. <laughs> there we go. Back down. Oh, so graceful, always. So what's what's a big one? In your in your books, what, what gets you excited? How big so, of a burp? I would say once they get over eight pounds, I would call like a 10 pounder a really big one and anything from 10 plus, a super big one. Lake of the Woods, I truly believe, has some of the biggest burbot around. I haven't been doing it all that long. With my limited exposure, I've caught multiple fish in that 15 pound class. And that's like a 33, 34 inch fish? Never, I've never put a tape on them. Really? No. Nope. They're so, t they're the toughest fish yeah. to measure is a burbot. You <laughs> yeah. try to put a burbot on a, here you take this. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, that was so good. I hand him the rod and just like instantly burbot comes in. Well, we're not really showing the struggle today. We're just showing up on Sean's magical burbot hole. Sean's mat. Oh, 
there we go. So Lake of the Woods, we have these invasive rusty crayfish and they are Burbitt's most favorite little snack. And obviously as that guy's puking them up. Okay, another Burbitt, another one down the hole. Uh, I mean, we're keeping them on bottom with the camera too, but um, you can definitely get them to chase 10, 12 feet, no problem. And it's so neat to watch them when they turn vertical and they get all animated and flare and then they come and grab it. Oh, oh he's coming in hot. Oh, man. Jeez, he was angry. Oh, no, here he oh, comes. he's back. Yeah, come over. I promise you. Oh, this one's coming for you. Nice. You gave him a little more, and that's what he needed. He tasted that Cisco. You just fluffed him up, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you think most these are little males we're catching? Yeah, so these are all, all like, smaller males, so. If, oh. oh, that's a bigger one. Oh. Yes. oh, man. That's a little better. This might be a female. It looked pretty sizable down there. Gonna tuck this little male back. Uh oh, Jay's getting bullied. Oh, <laughs> oh I love this. <laughs> if you didn't know, you think that's a lake trout. Oh yeah. And you think of like their body, like that's that their whole body is undulating. Yeah. This is probably, I think, the biggest one we got so far. Oh yeah. That's a proper bourbon right, right there. There we go. Under the belly. Oh. Nice. Wow. This was supposed to be the number spot, but we got a, a proper yeah. Lake of the Woods bird. You think this would be a big female? I think it's going to be a spawned out female. Yeah. yeah. That was so cool. So, yeah. So she's, she's spawned out. So, yeah. Bloop. Awesome. All right. Slide her back. Big shovel head. Bloop. Cool. Nice work. That was so good. <laughs> oh man. Half meat, half spoon. So this is tungsten, so it sinks a little faster than lead. Well, a lot faster and just gets down. You don't need a, a finesse presentation. No, and that is the one thing that's nice about fishing burbot. You don't need all the fancy electronics you don't need any fancy gear you can come out you can drill holes and you can just pound bottom with well, a big jig and the thing is if, if you're fishing a tighter slope sometimes your electronics don't even pick no, up your bait like a lot of the times you're not even marking your bait on the bottom and you won't mark these fish until they're coming up off the bottom so anybody can get out here try a spot drill some holes pound some meat on the bottom and you'll get a reaction if they're there. If you want to bring the toys though, I would recommend an underwater camera because this has been, I've been yeah. giddy watching these fish roll in. Oh, come on. <laughs> I tried to eat it. Again. Oh man. Oh, come down here and play with us. Oh, he's oh. eating it. Oh man. <gasps> that is the coolest footage. <laughs> he is, there's a burbot attacking the camera. Oh, he's angry. We need to put hooks on the camera next time. Oh. That is wild. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. He is doing some crazy stuff. Oh, man. Oh, such cool fish. So you pretty much just, like, their rib cage is kind of different than a walleye, right? Yeah. Like, you wouldn't get any meat off the ribs? No, so basically all the meat on these things are gonna be off their back strap here. Yeah. Tail and the back strap and it's going to be boneless uh what i'm going to do is we're just going to start we're going to make the standard cut we're going to go follow along the spine and basically like your knife's going to go down and you'll feel it hit the rib cage yeah but, and then once you get two two thirds of the way through then you'll go all the way yeah so we're just going to keep following down the spine basically right past the anal and then it's like very similar to any other fish. You're just yeah. following right along. Boom. So then you come along the back here, run your knife down, and then you get to the oh, ribs. Then you peel it off the ribs on that step. Yeah. So then once you get to here, I just stick my knife through, connect the cuts. That's great. 
Boom. That looks good. So what guys will do also is they'll, you could peel the skin off and then you can actually kind of gut them and then they'll end up with just the whole, You could just cook, the meat. cook it like that, yeah. Yeah. That's but great. we're taking the quick route. Peel the skin off like any other fish. Perfect. We'll cube that up tomorrow. Yep. Make some Alfredo on the ice. Bingo. We're probably not going to fish that much later. We're doing another day tomorrow. We're uh, heading to where, where potentially the bigger ones live into some darker water. Um, so we might not get the same underwater action, but we may tangle with a 10 plus pounder. So that'd be nice. Pack up. Pack it in. Cool. So same deal as yesterday, just a big extended point. We're gonna kind of fish off the edge and... Yeah, big extended point. Fish are gonna be pulling up out of this main basin, coming up here after what we've seen yesterday. They probably have spawned, so they're either gonna be real post-spawn or right in the middle of yeah. doing it, but we're looking for a big one today. That's the goal. We got the one to eat from yesterday. We might, might take another small one, but uh, we got the good stuff. One of those does what a week's worth of crayfish would do, so. I'm gonna pop some holes. Well, we got one bigger bait set up a little shallower, 20 feet right on the edge of the point there. We're sliding off the edge here, but um, that one we did a full Cisco. This one, I just got a little chunk of Cisco belly. Sean's jigging, just phenomenal weather. Oh, there's a fish under me. Oh wow, walleyes ate her right in front of the camera. Got him. <laughs> this is kind of what I expected would happen more yesterday, but we are seeing walleyes mixed in on these deeper mud flats. That is what most people come to Lake of the Woods for, right there. Not often walleye is the bycatch. Normally walleye is the goal for many anglers. Plague, 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 plague on the shallow one, on the shallow one. Oh, it's pulling line. It is pulling line. I am very curious. This was in 20 feet of water. And we had a full Cisco. This could be a big burbot. Could be a big pike. I want to wait till it's moving away because then I know the hooks are going to get into the back of its mouth. We are hooked up. Oh, this fish has some weight. I think it took a lot of line. Might have just lost her. I think we just lost her. There's no fish there anymore. Oh man, that's a heartbreak. Look at those big teeth marks on the side. Judging by that, I would say a pike had it just like that. Normally it's a decent sized fish that tries taking a slap at a bait like that. We'll get back down. Sean is going around to hole hop, so we're gonna pull his line out of the water. Cause you have to be within, I think it's 60 yards of your line, so. We're gonna pull it out to be legal. And yeah, we're gonna stay here as our home base. Sean's gonna go whole hop around. He's a little more mobile without all the filming gear and uh, hopefully he can find a couple burbot. But man, nothing wanted that tail. But I am gonna leave the Cisco out, the shallower one we had there and you know, maybe we get that pike to hit again or maybe a big old burbot rolls up. Like I have caught some big burbot laying full size Cisco. So anyways, we're gonna go back to jigging. Man's on a mission. He's gone, he may never come back. Bye, Sean. Oh, flag, 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 same one, same one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She's moving some line. Maybe we'll get redemption. Give him a take down the dragon. Hit her. There we go. Ooh, this might be a burbot. Moving towards me. This one is not getting off. We got the big rod, the 43 heavy for these big baits. 
Sean was hole hopping. Ooh, I don't know. It could be a burbot or a pike. Wow, did that fish take a lot of line. Big gator, fat, fat pike. Oh, that's a fat pike. Oh. You never know what you're gonna get when you lay a big juicy Cisco down. Look at that big fat pike. Ho, 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 ho. That's a 10 inch hole. I don't wanna pull too hard right now because we don't have a steel leader. Look at this fish. Just like that. She was so lightly hooked. All right, take a look at this big fat Lake of the Woods pike. Wow, that is a nice surprise. Look at that tapeworm coming out of it as well. That tapeworm is definitely feeding on whatever this pike is feeding on. Sweet. Probably high 30s, close to 40 inch fish. Not the burbot we're looking for, but just like those markings. This is just a, just a sweet April pike. And that is why you always set out your second line that is a 10 inch hole she's filling up. Sometimes you target one thing and something else makes your day. Oh, there's a fish. You scared my walleye away. Just darted away. The walleye away. was darting in. Uh, got a nice pike on the tip up. Could have been the same one, maybe like high 30s. Cool, yeah, that was big. This is what we got to show for, well actually we got a big pike to show for our morning too. Yeah. Well we're gonna head back, we're cutting our losses, we're going back to where we caught them yesterday. The big burbot spot, vacant. I don't know where they would've went. Yeah. Do you think they pushed out deeper maybe or? They were just a little bit too post spawn and everything's kinda moved back out and they're, that's the, that's the one big mystery about like burbot in general is there just isn't tons of knowledge about them. The draw I find to it is, yeah, there's unknown. it's something different and it's challenging to figure out these fish in a totally different environment. Anyways, well, let's pack up. We're gonna head back to where we were yesterday and then we're gonna cook up that burbot and we're gonna watch you catch some more. Yeah, let's go catch some. <laughs> Ooh. This is, yeah, this is a nice flat right before the drop off. Look, there you go. Okay, so if you drop down, we'll just make sure you're right beside this Cisco because then you'll be in the frame. Oh, there you are. Oh, yes. Lake of the Woods. Oh, oh, oh. Two of them. Come on, Sean. Oh. <laughs> Whoever's calling can wait. Yeah. This is ridiculous. They don't care about that Cisco on the bottom at all. They hit the line. Did you yeah. see that? Yeah. Here we go. Wow, this is cool footage. They heard your ringtone. Yeah. And they took off. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Man. Well, they're right where we left them. Where yep. Sean left them. And what blows my mind is that they do not care about that Look beautiful Cisco on the bottom. Oh wow. There's three down there oh, now. Oh man, this is the spot. Yeah, we were just off the spot yesterday apparently. Cute little guy. There we go. Oop. And they are strong, that's for sure. Okay. There they are going up. Oh. oh. Oh man. Oh man. There's two more on the camera right now as he sets the hook into oh, one. Lost that one. Oh man, this is cool. There's four burbs just hammering my spoon in. Oh, I'm pulling away from them. Stop it. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is, I have a, a whole ball of burbot underneath my bait right now. I'm looking at five, possibly six individual burbots. And like, oh. Jay, there are no burbot here. Oh, and I got the good one, it looks like. Nice. That is just great, watching those fish interact with each other and with the bait. That's great. Awesome, okay. There we go, now we're getting better. That's a nice chunky one. Oh yeah. They're so strong, like they're just all muscle. Their mouths are hard. Be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. 
<laughs> Are they at you? Uh, not right now, but. Oh no. Was there one? I'm snagged. No, the guy that gets snagged ice fishing. I can see where I'm snagged. That's the worst part. <laughs> oh, there's a burbot. There's a burbot coming in hot. I have to rely on a burbot to come dig me out. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Oh, there's two. Oh, that's a bigger one. No, no, no. I got the small one. There's three. Oh, man. This is, dude, this is borderline burbot ball activity going on. I got the one. I haven't set the hook yet. Look at this. Oh, he dropped it. There's four. This is a burbot ball. I'm telling you. Oh, Okay, there's man. a burb coming. He's gonna oh, man. get my bait unsnagged. This is unreal. You can do it. This is what I picture when I think of a burbot ball. I know it gets crazier. This is some of the coolest underwater footage. Come on. Oh, come on, baby. Back it up. <laughs> Just back up a little further. <laughs> Oh, that's wrong with that. There you go. Won't be our last one tonight, I'll tell you that. There's so many burbs down there. Are they, there, down, are they down there right now? Oh yeah, they're like, there's three on the screen right now and I'm just, nope, four. Come on. Come on, just, it's right there, smell it, dig it out. He's gonna get unsnagged by a burb and watch this. Oh, I got two, three, four, perfect. <laughs> Here they come. Get my spoon out. Whoa. You're going to get both lures tangled down there. Full burbot ball. A flock of burbs. I'm going to catch one. Oh, look at them all. Oh, wow. Houston, we have ignition. No. Oh, no. I caught him. That is insane. Of them. How many burbot are down there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, get your mouth away. No. No. <laughs> Dang it. What is going on here? Now he's got both lines. <laughs> <laughs> Jay! I can't help you. That rod's really bouncing. Are you sure there isn't a fish on that? Is that the one that was snagged? That was the one that was snagged. The bird backed me out. Who's got the fish? That was the snagged one. Yeah. No, no. This is the one that, that, that bait is off this rod. <laughs> All right, well, mission Yes, accomplished. we got unsnagged. We got his got my back. favorite spoon back. <laughs> Oh, and the bird would have gone. Use a burb to swim down and unhook your other spoon. Okay, yeah, easy as that. That's exactly what I meant to do. No problems. That was easy. Yeah. That was a full blown burbot ball. Full blown. All right. All right, it's cooking time. We got the burbot meat from yesterday. We're doing some burbot bites. I'm gonna cube them up small, deep fry them, real classic. But then I'm gonna do some pasta, some Alfredo sauce, we'll do some burbot Alfredo. Perfect. Sean's gonna catch them while I'm cooking them. Sounds good. I mean, I, I think a lot of people get in their head that, you know, I only eat walleye, I only eat perch, and it's like, man, if you were blindfolded, you would, no. you know, same thing with pike. I've, I've had that discussion with so many people. It's like, I could rest assured that the majority of people, if a fish is properly cleaned, they couldn't tell the difference. No. All right, there you have Burbot Alfredo on Lake of the Woods with Sean Magahi. We are gonna enjoy a beautiful meal and then we're probably gonna call it yeah. a season for the burbs. Probably. Wrap it up. We should have probably been here two weeks earlier, but we still put a smackdown on them, but I think they would have been a lot fatter and yeah. maybe a couple more- uh, Big females. A couple more pounds on them. Ooh, we even got the real utensils too. <laughs> to mess around glass, I'm surprised it didn't break. Thanks buddy. Thank you. Oh yeah. Is that gonna work? That'll work. This is carb loading. Yeah. Important. 10 out of 10 would eat again. Definitely would eat again. Perfect travel conditions. I demolished this. <laughs> I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs>